Here's a food skill I've always wanted to learn. I love Chinese food, but there's one amazing delicacy so specialized that few Western chefs have ever mastered it. So today, I'm off in search of some Eastern culinary wisdom. This is Chinese dim sum, an absolute staple, even for breakfast, lunch, every day. And for the first time, I'm gonna learn how to cook them properly, but under immense fucking pressure. Dim sum means touch the heart, and it's easy to see why. Here at London's Royal China Club, they serve a vast array of beautiful, intricate little dumplings and rolls from regions all over China. What began as a simple Chinese snack has evolved over thousands of years into big business all over the world. Ooh. Helping me to demystify the ancient world of dim sum is Chinese cookery expert Fuchsia Dunlop. This is one of the dim sum that sometimes Westerners find a bit more tricky because it has that slithery texture which Chinese gourmets really adore to eat. I'm used to being boss of the kitchen, but as a dim sum virgin, today I'm happy to be the pupil. Here we have the main kitchen area. Okay, no, these guys are very small, do you mean petite, but look at the space, I mean it's, it's minute behind here. Yeah, and it's like an inferno when all the walks are going. Shit. And this one here? It's for steaming the dim sum. Yeah. Right. So you can have a stack of oh, Okay, two. on top. Later my challenge will be to get through a busy service at this top London dim sum restaurant. But with just a couple of hours before lunch, I've got a hell of a lot to learn. For now, I've been put under the expert guidance of Zhang. If anyone can speed teach me this incredible art, he's my man. In his 20 years as a dim sum chef, he'll have made well over 2 million of these tricky little parcels. But there's one small problem. So, he doesn't speak any English at all? No. I'm screwed then. Nothing at all. Hello, good morning. No, I'm <laughs> fucked. OK. Luckily, Fuchsia's on hand to translate his instructions. Uh, good to see you. So, what is this? Rice flour. My first lesson is how to make a prawn-filled potato flour dumpling called hagao. Hold it in. Just like pasta, the secret to good dim sum is as much about the wrapper as the filling. That's what's going to hold all the flavour and moisture in. Hard. So he's going to show you how to press the skins now right. from the dough. Press the skins. Unlike an Italian kitchen, there are no pasta machines in sight. Jesus. So he's using the palm of his hand. My God. They're beautiful, huh? They're so soft. Jung made it look easy. Now it's my turn. OK, use this, the finger of this hand to push it. Yes. Just your index finger okay. of the right hand. Look, so you're holding this and just pinching, but okay. you push it with that finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Saying that dim sum are particularly difficult because of all this fine finger work, yeah. and you have to be a bit kind of calm and patient. And... Calm and patient. Yeah, well, I'm screwed straight away, right? <laughs> calm and patient. I can't remember being this nervous in the kitchen. And as any pastry chef will tell you, hot, sweaty hands are not what you need with all this delicate work. It's so intricate. So difficult. Jesus Christ. They're extraordinary. That is a lot fucking harder than it looks, I tell you. Such intricacy. And if I thought that was difficult, I hadn't bargained on Jung's next lesson. Chung Fun. Paper thin sheets of rice and potato flour batter wrapped around a choice of fillings. Fucking hell. It's really hot, so the most important thing with this is not to be afraid of scalding your hands in the steam. Right. Yeah. After just three minutes, the skin scorching paper thin sheets of batter are ready to be rolled. Sticking to the cloth like shit to a blanket. I haven't felt this clumsy since I first set foot in a kitchen 20 years ago. The 
real killer is to wrap the filling tightly without splitting it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me, that was hard. I mean, seriously hard. Very intricate. It's all in the manipulation of the dough. With training over, next I'll be put to the test under hard as nails, Henry Chow. Can't do it, this one. As the kitchen's head chef, I'm told he's every bit as tough as me. Fuck knows what service is going to be like. Right, back to dim sum, and it's time for service. In my quest to learn how to make dim sum, I'm about to be thrown in at the deep end at the Royal China Club in London. This place can do over 200 covers. And like any head chef worth his salt, the uncompromising Henry Chow expects his brigade to jump on the orders as soon as they come on. Trouble is, they're all in Chinese. How the fuck do you understand that? What does that say? That says the um, fresh um, shrimp chunk Fresh shrimp So you already know how to make it. I've never been in a kitchen where I've never been in control, so this is really fucking weird. But Icy Cool Head Chef Henry is in control. He's clearly a man after my own heart. He won't let a morsel leave his kitchen unless it's absolutely perfect. Understandably, he's watching his most recent recruit like a hawk. So will my first effort pass muster with my tough new master? No. What's wrong? No good. He said it's not all right. Uh, What's wrong with it? Uh, it's not tight enough. It's not wrapped. It's too loose. It's not wrapped tightly enough around the dough. You have to do it tightly next time. Tighter. Fucking hell. It's fucking what, Wyler? More shrimp. Coming now. Fucking hell, hello. Get by my side. Jesus. I'm determined to get some of my dim sum past Henry and out to the diners. I may be an award-winning chef, but as soon as I'm sending plates out, they're coming back. Can someone go for the soup and give the dumpling a rest? I think Fuchsia's enjoying this a lot more than I am. They're too small and there's not enough filling in them. They should be a bit more fuller. It's a pleasure to learn a new skill, but I hate getting a bollocking, even in translation. With service nearly over, it's my last chance to achieve dim sum perfection. Fucking hell. He's worse than me, that fucker, you know that? Huh? Jesus Christ. He's happy with that last one, yes? Oh, really good. Yeah. Excellent. Happy? Yeah? Good. Fuck me, thank fuck for that, I tell you. Jesus Christ. That was fucking phenomenal. Really tough to begin with and very intricate. And who would have thought that you're spending £3, £4.50 for a bowl of fucking dim sum and they're all made by hand. Extraordinary. Just goes to prove that fucking Chinese cookery is not all about a wok. Fucking hats off. Working in Henry's kitchen has really inspired me. And with lunch service out the way, I want to show him a dish of my own. Right, I'm gonna do a little um, dumpling, but my mate, and see what the guys think. My Chinese style tortellini is based on a mixture of prawns, scallops, and crispy duck. The texture of the scallop and the shrimp together, delicious. I'm hoping head chef Henry will be so impressed he'll put it on his menu. Pull that fat off. Let me just chop that up. Really nice combination. The duck. I'm adding finely chopped ginger, garlic, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Lemon juice in. Okay, coriander. Finally, some finely sliced mixed veg. Texture and colour in. Keep it nice in the hole so you can identify it. Right. So with these, I'm borrowing a few of John's expertly flattened skins. The scallop. Really nip it together. Little tortellinis. Nice. Very good. Okay. We steam now? Yeah. Four minutes. Nice. That look good. 
So what does the dim sum master and his brigade make of my duck and seafood tortellini? Thank you. You like Henry? Little. What don't you like? Say something funny. You all the cold idea of Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Little fucker. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Hey, tell him there's no MSG in there either. Huh? Jesus. Five out of ten from these guys is high praise indeed. In another twenty years, maybe I'll merit a six. So it's not going on as special tonight. No. No. Tell him when he goes back to school, I'll take over. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.